Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. Let's take some example. Here you define the direction cosine normal of the plane and the distance from the origin where my equation of the plane is given. So we have two examples here. So the first is x plus y plus z is equal to 1. So we compare this equation, we have the equation of the plane is lx plus my plus nz is equal to d, where l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. Correct? This is my equation of the plane. Now if you see, my this equation is x plus y plus z is equal to 1. So in this case, if I assume L is equal to 1, M is equal to 1, Z is equal to 1, then L square plus M square plus N square is equal to how much? 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. But I don't want that. I want that my L square plus N square plus M square has to be 1. So what I can do is my L square plus N square plus M square is coming out to be 3. To get it 1, what I will do is, I will divide everything by root 3. So actually what you get here is direction ratios actually. So I have to find direction cosine. So I will divide everything by root 3. Now if you see, I get L is equal to M is equal to N and that is 1 by root 3. All same. So if you say L square, M square, N square, you add, you get 1 only. So this is my actually perfect equation because my equation has to be in this form Lx plus My plus Nz is equal to D with the condition that L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. So this was not the correct format. So I divided everything by root 3 root 3. Now my L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. If you compare these two now equation, my L is equal to M is equal to N is equal to 1 by root 3. That is all the direction for science and distance is 1 by root 3. And that is my answer. Correct. Second one, also if you have compared this 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 5, if you find the square of this, this becomes 2 square plus 3 square plus minus 1 square, right, 2. So 2, 3, 1. This becomes uh, 2, 4 plus 9 plus 1, 10. That is root 14. So to convert this into this form, lx plus my plus nz is equal to d, where l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1, I will divide everything by root 14. Correct. Now if you see my L is 2 by root 14. If you compare this guy with Lx plus My, M is 3 by root 14 and is N is minus 1 by root 14. So now if you see L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Now we compare this to this becomes d. So d is equal to 5 by root 14. So just by comparing, we can see that the direction cosines are these 2 by root 14, 3 by root 14, and minus 1 by root 14, and the distance is 5 by root 14. Correct. Let's take a few more examples on this. Same similar question 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. So this and uh, the other is z is equal to 2. 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. This guy, I can write as minus 5y is equal to 8. Why? Because I have tried in this form lx plus my plus nz is equal to 0. Here l is 0 and n is also 0. I have some value of m. But m has to be 1 because root of 0 square root of 0 square plus m square plus n square 0 is equal to 1. So m has to be 1. So I will divide everything by 5, 5. So this equation becomes minus y is equal to 8 by 5. So L is 0, m because this equation is formed this form, my, m is minus 1, n is also 0 and d is 8 by 5. And that is my answer. 
See, because the equation is always lx plus my plus nz is equal to 0, where l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. So, the only thing is I am doing is I am converting this in equation in this form. Second, I will take z is equal to 2. We take this z is equal to 2. This is already in the form which is required because we required lx plus my plus nz is equal to 0. L is equal to 0, m is equal to 0, z is n is equal to 1. And that is correct, so we not convert also. So we can say that n is equal to 1 and d is equal to 2m square. So direction cosine, if you see, direction cosine will be 0, 0, 1 and direction distance is 2. Similarly, in this case, direction cosine is 0, minus 1 and 0. Very, I mean, not the difficult question, the only thing is you have to convert this any equation in the form we are looking for. Correct? Here we are looking for lx plus my plus nz is equal to 0, where l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. Now let us understand this uh, equation of plane normal form. So we will take some example on this. Find the vector equation of the plane which is 7 in a distance from the origin and the normal to the vector is 3i plus 5j minus 6. This is not a Cartesian form, this is a vector form only. I don't know why it is written like this. So, here if you see the n vector is 3i plus 5j minus 6k, right? And the distance is 7 unit from the origin. The equation we know is r dot n cap is equal to d. Please note, we do not say r dot n vector is equal to d. That we do not say. We always say r dot n cap, that is unit vector of normal. So, we define unit vector of normal first. So, if n is, so n cap is nothing but n vector by magnitude of n vector. That is 3i plus 5j minus 6k by root of 3 square plus 5 square plus minus 6 square. This is again 3i plus 5j minus 6k by root 70. This is my n cap. So my answer is r dot n cap that is this guy. 3i plus 5j minus 6k by root 70, right, is equal to d and d is 7. And that is my answer. If you want to take this guy, this uh, root 70 this side, you can take that. This becomes r dot 3i plus 5j minus 6k is equal to 70 into root 7. And that's my answer. Please note, it is r dot n cap is equal to d. It is not r dot n vectors equal to d is wrong. The correct is r dot n cap is equal to d. A cap and the arrow makes a huge difference. We'll take one more example. We define the Cartesian equation for this uh, for this particular thing. R dot i plus j minus k is equal to two. This is my to find the Cartesian form, the only thing you have to do is you have to make R as xi plus yj plus zk. That's all. You put this value in this and you get the answer. That means if you see my equation is answer is nothing but R is xi plus yj plus zk dot i plus j plus k is equal to sorry minus k is equal to so all this x into 1 is x, y into 1 is y, z into minus 1 is minus z, is equal to, and that is minus. So converting a vector form to a Cartesian form is very simple. Just make r as x i plus y z plus z k and solve it. Again, one more question similar to that. We have to find the Cartesian of the following equation. Very simple. Nothing great in this. Just make r as x i plus y j plus zk, you do a dot of this 2i3j minus 4k equal to 1, you solve this, 
2 into x becomes 2x, minus 3 into y becomes minus 3y, minus 4 into z is minus 4z, and that is minus 3. Very simple. Again, similar to this, you define a Cartesian product for this plane. Uh, here it is a little difficult to solve, but not that difficult, almost same. I just, I just put R as xi plus yj plus zk. Here also we'll put, right? And let's see how what we get. So this is nothing but xi yj zk dot, right? S minus 2t i plus 3 minus tj plus 2s plus tk is equal to 50. This is nothing but s minus 2tx plus 3 minus t into y, 3 minus ty plus 2s plus t, 2s plus t z is equal to 50. And that is my answer. Simple one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.